because this one is the thing you always say so and this one is the thing that you are but i didn't make you drink out of it did i you can't just nick my joke I otherwise i'd make you drink out of every me. person's cock as well because you're a dickhead well, I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> Is it already you've, recording? Oh, God. You've already gone and done it, mate. <laughs> I have. Hello, my name's Shame Max Belegde. Shame you haven't Oh, wait, you did, but it was too much of one. Or maybe not enough. They should have gone below the neck. That, no, that was rude and mean and nasty. Yeah, it was. Watch me cut my head off. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Say your name. <laughs> Sorry, Stormzy. <laughs> Stormzy, innit? Um, George. <laughs> And welcome to the useless hotline. <laughs> TikTok wasn't working out for us. So, oh shit, I forgot your... So we decided to set up our own little business. Yes, we did. And the useless hotline is a place for you to... No. <laughs> for you to come and enjoy yourself. So come and enjoy yourself, guys. <laughs> the useless hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, disgusting, or, or embarrassing, embarrassing they, they are. are. But it won't right, always, always just, just be us. us. Like so today, today oh, for, for example, it, except but it is, on, on, it is, is today, to, is, it is, we is, are on our just own today. Us. Yes. Um, <laughs> should we get on with it? <laughs> we tried something then. I don't know what we were trying, but it didn't work. Um, uh, it looks like you're trying to uh, have a nice head of hair. Right. Cover I have just had up. such a traumatic experience. Before I get into my traumatic experience, I just want to say, guys, please send in some good voice notes to our Instagram because I just spent about half an hour looking through and I found two. One of them's really good and one of them is quite average, not going to lie. So um, stay tuned for that, guys. Cause yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but please... Way like... to keep up the retention, Max. <laughs> Today's was... <laughs> episode's going to be mediocre. <laughs> See you then. No, one's really good, so stick around for that one. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. Ooh... Um, but yeah, please, I want to hear all about your crazy shit that happens in your life because I oh, see you God. messaging it and commenting it, but you need to send it in audio form as a voice note to our Instagram, Oh please. boy, do we. We are constantly, I constantly message Max in, in, mm -hmm. in between recordings going, yeah. I wonder how they're getting on. Me too. And it's always very badly, I'm sure. Yes. Um, You're ill, aren't you? I am, but I'm better. I was ill for about five days. I was ill, bad cough, yeah. bad headache. Bad. bad everything, and now... <laughs> Got him! <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, I have just moved into my new house. We all know this, hopefully, nice. if you're keeping up with the hashtag pod. And... Um, I've been trying to find a new barber because I kind of got into a good rhythm with one when I lived in Clapham. Yeah, it was not always good, and when it wasn't good, oh, I would no, post we know about that it. Very yes, well. uh, but so, most of the time it was good, and I was like, "Do you know what? Mm. Great! Mm. Wow!" And I have been trialing different ones. I had one like two or three weeks ago. It was so bad. Yeah, so bad. Yeah, that yeah, was the yeah. closest one to my house. So I've been going in like order of how far away it is, to, yeah. so that I don't have to walk that hard yeah. or far even. Have you ever walked hard before? All the time, baby. As long <laughs> um, as I'm behind you. Oh my god. Well very, very this feeds peachy. in this feeds into you being behind me actually feeds into my weird like dream journey that I've had oh, to get okay. here. No. God. I was so, gonna say you can't say that one on the podcast, Max. No. <laughs> so I went to this new barbers and me and Andrew actually went there together. Cute. Fully erect. Nice. Um no I'm joking, I don't know why I added that. Um and they said, right, we only do appointments, so come back later. So we booked an appointment and we had to go separately. I oh. go hate it when that happens i go and i'm like oh you know this this is giving good barber vibes this is great the guy was what, so the, lovely they were barbers in yeah there. they were barbers they had like scissors and stuff like that nice. so i was thinking this is looking hopeful no go on what were you gonna say i want to no, know i, I want to know say, go on go on say it if you knew they were scissoring should have brought Ang andrew <sighs> Yeah, because gay men famously scissor their ball sacks together, don't they, George? Hey, yeah. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I keep telling you to show me, Max, but it doesn't work. Oh, God. Um, do, you know, do you know scissoring's a myth? It's a myth. Like, it doesn't actually... It's only for porn. Like, lesbians in real life do not scissor each other. What? So I've been... What? Because it doesn't really do anything. No, uh, it does a lot to me. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Every lesbian that I've ever met has been like, scissoring is just not a thing. Like it's completely just a made up thing. As in, everyone you've ever met, you've gone. Oh, you're lesbian. <laughs> Got a quick question for you. <laughs> Is scissoring real or fake? Like, let me know. No, but I've every single lesbian that I've ever spoke to has said it. Claire Balding, I walked right up to her. I said, scissoring, yes or no, love. Well, then I guess paper, you you can never lose. Then. Oh, I hate you so much. 
I hate you so much. What the fuck? Um, How the but, hell do they settle any disputes? They're all just whipping paper oh out. Oh, God. Anyway, um, I yeah, lesbians, absolute ballers. Whipping their paper out. We love lesbians on this podcast. We need to get more lesbians. Charlie Marlowe, I'll be contacting you soon, my lesbian friend. Anyway. Um, oh, we've got a requirement we need to meet. We've got a quota of lesbians. <laughs> no, I just want to chat to a month. lesbian. I'm going to ask Charlie... When she ultimately comes on this podcast someday. Actually, when she ultimately comes out, I'm like, oh, play <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh, that reminds me. My sister, lesbian. We need to do a sister episode. Someone actually commented that as <laughs> well. There was a T in there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. My um, sister's lesbian. We need to do a scissor. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, bro, moving on swiftly. Well, and this has upset. gone downhill. It oh, has. Oh, 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 boy. Um, I... Yeah, so I'm, I'm in there and he's chatting away to me and he was nice. a lovely guy. And then he started to pry about what I do for work. And I was like, oh God, like I hate this. So I basically lied and told him that I just work in marketing. But then he wanted to know more and he was like, oh, what sort of things do you do? Like blah, blah, blah. Because like, I have like social media. And I was like, right, okay, I'm just going to tell him because he was like, how come you yeah. moved here? I was like, oh, I've just bought a house. And he was like, you bought a house at your age and you work in marketing. Like, that's amazing. He was like, did your parents help you out? And I was like, no. So I, anyway, I ended up ultimately just telling him I have followers. Look, and I'm I, bloody rich, okay? Like I'm fucking Look. minted! Um, and yeah, I did up telling him. And then he obviously wanted to know more. wanted to know like what I do and everything. Yeah. And then he told me that his friend who he works with, who was on his lunch break at the time, actually does TikTok, but does TikTok lives and battles people. Nice. Like we've spoken about before. Very cool. So I was like, oh, that's not really good vibes, to be honest. Like, that's quite a toxic, like... Well, you said that to him, did you? Yeah, I was, and he was like, yeah, I know. He does my head in. Like, he, oh, you he actually always... said that to oh, him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, he, and he said to me that he sometimes goes just live in the shop. like a normal person. No, I was like, I'm going to say it to his face. Um, and he said that he sometimes is... Uh, the guy who he works with sometimes goes live whilst he's in the shop, arguing and beefing people. What, like, just whilst cutting whilst, someone's like, cutting hair? people's hair, yes. Imagine being that person just in the, like, I know. bottom corner of the battle, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, thanks for the cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> cowboy hat just goes on them. <laughs> that was like, that could have been me. So I'm, at, whatever. Anyway, get through it. All's good. The haircut, not the best, because it was a really good, like technically very good haircut, mm -hmm. but he just cut it way too short on top. And I was literally like, oh my God. I specifically said I didn't want that much. And do you know when they've already done it? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, what do I do now? So now it's it literally, late. yeah, it's very small. This is after a lot of styling very as small. well. What about the haircut? Fucking massive. The haircut's massive. I mean, oh, I tried. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so obviously when I went with Andrew, we had to book appointments. Andrew's coming up right after me. So nice. I leave to well, come all here. the way out went, Andrew, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. No, no, so I leave to come here. <laughs> and then Andrew like immediately comes in. And uh, shut up. Hey, nobody was saying anything, mm, Max. I saw your brain ticking over. Um, so I'm like, oh my gosh, what are they about to put Andrew through? Andrew messages me like, what the fuck is happening? The guy had come off his lunch break. FaceTimes his friends, like, do you know this TikTok guy? Do you know this TikTok guy? Like, oh my gosh, Andrew is like way more shy than I am. Like, is and he, he couldn't, yes, yeah, shocking, I know. Couldn't handle it at all. Was like freaking out, messaging me, like, what the hell is going on? Wait, um, well, so don't tell me that he went live with Andrew. And... So he was saying, like, oh, he was asking Andrew for tips. I was like, mate, come to the true professional if you want TikTok tips. You know what I'm talking about? And I'll give you the TikTok tip later on. Oh, Stop, I know, sorry, sorry. Um, but yeah, basically that all happened. Then I get on the tube. Your hair looks nice and that was like, it looked like you had your own little hat on then. Do you want to see my hair down? Have you ever seen yeah, my go hair on. down? No, I've not. Oh wait, yes, I have actually. Wow. It's like greasy actually. Yeah, that's fucking disgusting actually. For the audio listeners, just imagine George looking really gross. Dirty slime ball. You're going to have to try really hard, guys. Um, so then I head off to come here. And I get on the train. And there's this guy sat opposite me with a cat with, like, multiple leads, multiple toys for the cat. Nice. This cat is crawling all over his body. Sexy. It's quite like a big guy. Literally, like, cuddling up to him. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is a bit odd, isn't it? Like, this guy's just got his cat. And this guy is staring at me. Yeah. Like, constantly staring at me and i'm like what is happening right now like i just want to get on with my tube journey you weren't feline it i was not feeling it at all <laughs> oh my god um and then i go like down the train like um, the train is moving don't know why i said go, down, go the train. down i went the down train. on the train that's yeah. how trains work man. That's, that's called a pass <laughs> um and 
so the train's moving and then we stopped for ages because there was like some sort of issue at Euston. So that's when I messaged you guys, like I might be late, the train's just yeah. randomly stopped. So bear in mind, there's probably about 10, 15 people on this carriage now. I'm sat down, Catman is opposite me with his cat crawling all cat over man. him. Catman. And then- I wonder what his wife's doing. I just hear this man go, oh, I'm really nervous. Like to this woman who was sat next to me. And I'm like, said, I'm really nervous. The cat man said, I'm really nervous. So I was like, well, yeah, his wife's been shagging Batman for months. <laughs> That's Catwoman. Thank you. Yeah, his wife's been shagging oh, Batman. Oh, right. Okay. For months. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. There you go. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, then he goes, Oh, yeah. So he's like, I'm really nervous. So then I paused my music because I heard that and I was like, Right, I want to hear what he's nervous about because this is interesting. The train hasn't moved for ages. Yeah. And the woman goes, Obviously, she's like, um, wh Why? Like, she was listening to music as well. Mm. And he goes, that boy right there is famous on TikTok, but I feel really nervous about asking him about it in front of the whole carriage. Uh, so I'm obviously now <laughs> living in pure hell. I'm like sat there pretending that I didn't hear that. My face probably went bright pussy red. pussy everywhere. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? I, I heard this man say it. Yeah. And that was his way of like trying to approach me. But I just pretended like I didn't hear it. Yeah. I'm sat there. Everyone is now looking I at me. I exactly the same. Everyone's now looking at me like, who? Like, what? Because this woman was like, oh, is he? Like, she was like a 30-year-old woman. She didn't give a shit. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm living in hell. I'm living in hell. So, <laughs> we, and bear in mind, the train is stopped, like, not moving oh, at all. The, wind, the doors are open because, like, we've been at it. So, I sit down there for about six or seven more minutes in silence as he keeps talking about me to other people. And then I just got up and walked off. And it was so obvious that I'd got off for that reason because the train hadn't moved. We'd not just got to the start. <laughs> and I felt so awkward. No, I would, loads of people get off after that amount of time. Because they're like, oh, how, how much longer are we going to be Yeah. Here, uh, well, I you did should, a full... You should have said that. You should have gone... I did a full act. How, how much longer are we going to be here, I guys? Did, hey? I literally did a full, like, I was cosplaying as someone who was in a rush for a business meeting. And I was, like, looking at my phone. I was, like, looking up and down. I was, like, oh, God. Like, what, what am I going to do? Like, looking at my watch, even though I don't have a watch on. And then I just walked off. But I'm Sorry, sure he guys, was lovely. It's such a rush. Yeah. Sorry, Catman. I'm sure that he was absolutely lovely, but um, I just couldn't deal with Catman today. I couldn't do it. Mm. But yeah. How was your journey? Oh, and oh! then how you tie into it. I'm I'm stressed oh! out. I've had I've had, I've had I've had I've had a traumatic tube journey. Yeah. I'm on the escalator up. Nice. Famously, there's been a few moments where I haven't realised that you were on the same journey as me, and maybe you follow me yeah. or tap me on the back. Something like yeah. that happens. I'm on the escalator going up, and I feel someone literally just like pat my bum. Nice. So I'm like, oh, George is going to be behind me. Look behind me. Some businessman with a briefcase, and I'm like excuse me i didn't say anything of course because i'm like <laughs> stupid as fuck and someone I thought could maybe you'll do it again yeah you know, someone could have fully like fingered me on the tube and i would have been too embarrassed to say um please can you stop thank you maybe that was a bit of too far of an example really wasn't it <laughs> yeah slightly too far yeah um but you know what i mean you know what i mean the vibe i'm going for oh yeah max I, I know exactly what you mean when you say you would be too embarrassed to say something if somebody fingered you on the tube right you know what i mean i mean like because it's awkward isn't it like if like the tube is an Ooh, awkward place have your fingers ended up there <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. oh my god but anyway so i turn around and i'm like what the hell and then they just look at me blankly and i'm like Someone definitely just cupped my anus. Not anus. What's it called? Butt cheek. Yeah. The oh. Cupping the anus is like <laughs> like a surgical procedure. Oh, I need to stop. See, I'm too traumatized by this. I need to put this hat on. Because I honestly, this haircut is just causing me trauma. It's too small. <laughs> I think someone before me, who perhaps has a much smaller head than I do, tried this on. Yeah. It's really easy to... <laughs> <laughs> it's really easy to use. Anyway... Oh, right. <laughs> what have you done to the back? I have a huge hat. What have you okay. done? <laughs> have I put it on right? I look like I'm going to go take, take you for a walk. <laughs> I'm not good. Right, here we are. Anyway, let's move on. Do you know what? Fuck this hat. I can't be bothered wearing it. It's really good though. Really good quality. Really nice. <laughs> what? Just, just putting that out there. Anyway, um, how was your journey here? What's your life been like since the last oh, time? Oh, you line biked here. Did you? I've been wanting to oh. try it so bad. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Shut up. Why didn't you line bike to your meeting? Because it's I, I live your too event. far away now. Oh, I could do No, I'll show up all sweaty. No, you weren't. I will. Did I turn up all sweaty? Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I'm always sweaty, though, so that doesn't count. Poor sweaty. No, but I came up. I came in this with the T-shirt underneath. Oh. And I wasn't sweating. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, then. Fair enough. 
And maybe I'll try it. So it's, it's electric. electric bike. Yeah. So you pedal a little bit, but it pushes you far away. One still small step for man, one giant leap for a line, line bike. bike. Mm, interesting. I had um, uh, other thing that I wanted to talk to you about. Okay. I just want to see spread them how different we truly are. Yeah. Are you up to date with everything that's happening with Olivia Rodrigo right now? She released another song or something. I don't know. What, what? Do you know who Olivia Rodrigo is? And the answer to this question will heavily. What's the word? Heavily dictate Arousing. how I feel about oh. you going forward. Um, she did. She's a singer, isn't she? Yes. What does she look like? Every generic American TikToker. How dare you! <laughs> how dare you! She is one of a kind. She is. She has such natural beauty. I would argue, actually, that she has a bit of something about her that sets her apart from every other average American TikToker. Okay, an attractive. She's very attractive. She's very beautiful Girl. in a in a unique way. I would argue she's not me, like pumped up lips, not like big cheekbones. She's very beautiful, very talented. How dare you, George Clark? Olivia. Oh, the fact you have to Google her makes me sick. I'm Instagramming her. Instagramming her. Who the fuck do you think you are, Grandad? TikToker. How am I? How am I, Grandad? For Instagram. I'm Instagramming her. her. You may as well have fucking what's it called, Bebo out. MySpace. Uh, yeah, she's attractive. I, I would, I'd say she... What would you give her out of 10? Oh, I'd give her a... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, what would um, you give her out of 10? Like a... Like a 9. She's 16 years old. I'm joking. I'm, I'm aware she isn't 16. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't my first rodeo. My, my, no, it is my oh. first. Anyway... So Olivia Rodrigo has just released her no, second album. No, it isn't album. my first rodeo. I'm, I'm aware of how to... Stop digging yourself in a hole, Peter. <coughs> I mean, what? I'm, I was, what? I'm aware when I'm looking at a woman who's not 16. Was the I fucking point hope I was so. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure that, that that was such a weird sentence to say that, by the way. You could have just said, like, she looks over 18. Right, so she has just released her second album. And it's so good. Like, cinematic masterpiece. Cinematic you expected me to go, oh my God, Olivia Trigo's album. No, but well, I was hoping that you would, but I wasn't expecting it. However, Taylor Swift is currently on her Worldwide Eras tour. Do you know about that at least? Oh God, I, I can't get enough of oh my God, this man. Tay -tay. This She's man. great, uh, isn't she? How do I cope? Oh my God. So basically, Taylor Swift is on her Eras tour. When Olivia Rodrigo became massive because she was in High School Musical, the musical, the series. What? High School Musical, the musical, the series. High School Musical, the series, the musical. I can't remember How what the name of the show is. Sap out of one fucking program. No, it three movies, and now it's it's like a big series. Oh, and it was such a great film. It was. How it was. High School Musical changed generations. How dare you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna have a panic attack. Right. So, <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo was the star of that series. She mm -hmm. made the song "Driver's License." I'm sure you've heard. I got my driver's license last week. Don't I, tell me you don't I, know that song. I know the song, but uh, but I I know don't. I know you have just absolutely butchered it. How dare that was, you? That was nowhere near the Olivia, tune. Olivia, comment down license. below. That was great. That was nowhere near the tune of it. How dare I you? My driver's license. license. Last week. Why did it become Maybe it was jazz? the jazz version. I don't know. But anyway, when she released this song, Taylor Swift took her under her wing and was kind of like, do you know what? You're an incredibly talented young girl in the music industry. Yeah. And Olivia Rodrigo was the biggest fan of Taylor Swift, biggest Swifty ever. Okay. Took her under her wing. Everything's amazing. Oh my yeah. God, my two favorite female artists loving on each other. This is incredible. Not in the way that you'd like. Whoa, no scissoring involved. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Stop, how dare you? Anyway. Scissoring's um, not a real thing, Max. <laughs> yeah, Get true. over it. Okay, true. Um, but. Whoa, cut, cut tell two. me more about the but. Cut to Olivia Rodrigo releases her full album, her first album. Okay. One of the songs sounds a little bit similar to one of Taylor Swift's songs. Okay. Taylor Swift's team contacts Olivia uh, Rodrigo's team and say, mm -hmm. we demand that Taylor Swift has a writing credit on that song because it sounds too similar to one of my songs. Shakes the whole friendship up. What? This is crazy. I, I didn't think that it did, but now you're getting your lawyers involved. This is a bit crazy. Oh my God. Cut to... 
Taylor Swift is doing the Eras tour, Olivia Rodrigo is nowhere to be seen. Olivia Rodrigo. Right, I'm getting very in, 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 uh, excited, okay? Sorry, if I'm not pronouncing words properly, I'm sorry, Olivia. Please, please forgive me. Olivia Rodrigo has not attended the Eras tour. Okay. This is major. Everyone has attended the Eras tour, George. God, Everyone. Everyone, yeah. Yeah. I was there just last week. Exactly. Well, you weren't, but shut up. Um, so this is crazy beef. Then, Olivia Rodrigo releases Vampire, her first single of her new that one album. Vampire. No! Vampire. How dare you? <laughs> and it is so good. One of the lyrics, um, blood sucker, fame fucker, bleeding me dry like a goddamn vampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Yeah. That just erupted. I'm so sorry. We had I had a fizzy drink. That's not part of the lyric. That is such a good line for a song named Vampire Bloodsucker. Yeah. Where's she even pulled that from? That is crazy. Olivia Rodrigo. You better put some respect Bow on down, me. girl, because thinking of a, a lyric like Bloodsucker? That so, shit's crazy, my And guy. people hypothesized that that song was about <laughs> Taylor Swift. Okay. But we have no proof. We have no proof. It could be about anybody. It could be. It sounds like it's about a breakup. But who's she been breaking up with? Or a vampire. Or a vampire. Very, very true. It could be about (laughs) Count Dracula. We don't know. Somebody asks her in an interview, Mm -hmm. is this song about Taylor Swift? Olivia Rodrigo does not go, no, no, no. Oh, my God. I would never. She's one of the biggest, the biggest pop star in the world. Oh, my God. I want. She goes, how do I answer this? (laughs) What? What? (laughs) What? Earth shattering. Turns to a friend. How do I answer this? Um, I don't really like to tell people who my songs are about, but I was shocked when people thought that it was about her, to be honest. Yeah, that's all I'll say on it. What? That was the most 50-50. Could go that way. Could go this way. What's happening? I'll, I'll, answering I'll the world. T- I'll tell you exactly what's happened. Oh, there. my God. Go on. The amount of people that will be promoing her song yes. just off the fact that they think it's to do with Taylor Swift Ooh. will drive the sales and everything. That's why it's such a big song. Ah. That's why even I've heard it. Ah. Yeah. You have heard as, it. As see. soon as she goes, no, it's not about Taylor Swift. I don't know why everyone's thinking that. Everyone goes, oh, it wasn't. Ah. But this the drives thing- the whole narrative, keeps her career going, keeps that her in the same line as Taylor Swift. Wow. As soon as she breaks off, she's nothing to she's she's no longer on the tour. Oh. She's she's no longer uttered in the same breath. Yeah. Then she's off on her own doing her own thing. Oh. Now she's staying parallel. Ooh. Every time Taylor's net mentioned, Olivia's mentioned. Oh. Oh. You tell me you wouldn't do the same thing. Baby, I, I, I I, but is it not better to just say <laughs> no it's not Taylor Swift one of my best best I love Taylor Swift anyway so there's tension between the two online tension not really between them but the the fans are causing tension by like them ba- basically overreading everything that's going on mm, it was of the course. Vi- who, who was who would get so I have no idea who, the, who, who who would that be I have no idea it was the VMAs last night do you know what the right. VMAs stand for yep very massive audience the MTV Video Music Awards, close. How the hell did they manage to fit all that into the VMAs? <laughs> no, sorry. The, the, the VMAs Just video stand music for awards. the MTV Video Music Awards. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Just the Video Music Awards. So, Olivia performed. Guess who was in the audience? VMA Pyre. Guess who was in the... Oh, my God. Guess who was in the audience? Kanye. Uh, your Taylor Swift! Lesbians, oh. Taylor Swift. I mean, close. If you want to get into the people that think Taylor Swift's a secret lesbian, we could get into that another time, okay? Because oh, that is crazy. Bloody hell, that was on my list of things that yes, I wanted to I'm talk sure. about. Yes, I'm sure. Olivia Rodrigo finishes her performance. What does Taylor Swift do? Everybody's eagerly waiting for a reaction, her response. She applauds. Taylor Swift. You are joking me. I Breaking am news. Not crazy. Someone in the audience applauds a song. Absolutely. Breaking news. Wild. Now, what do we think? Olivia Rodrigo just heavily hinted that the song was about her. Taylor Swift's clapping, making everybody believe that things are good between them. What is going on? I don't know. I'm stressed. But I'm so glad that I finally got to explain it to somebody that do doesn't you know give I, a fuck. Do you know what? I, I, <laughs> do, do you know what? I reckon <sighs> they are literally messaging each other like, how funny is this? There's so many people getting like uptight about this. Should we start a beef? Well, should we start a beef now, between us? Oh yeah, should we just discuss it No, now? but we could do it before this episode comes out. Should we plan a beef? Fuck off, someone's ringing my phone. 
Fuck you, George. Why are you making my phone ring for? Oh, beef. Weird little boy. We should start a beef. We'll do it. No one's going to believe it. because Everyone every, will believe every it. Every other day you go, guys, I'm quitting this app. <laughs> guys, I'm not doing a podcast anymore. No, it doesn't have to be. Guys, but if you start it. You go, oh, I've got something to promote. What should I do? I'll pretend I'm quitting everything. <laughs> That's so true. And you just go, guys, I know I've done this before, but I'm quitting. <laughs> And then go, now I've got your attention. <laughs> and all of the comments every time were just, Max, we knew exactly what was happening. <laughs> but it kind of nearly worked because we were the nominated. First time oh, we, we weren't nominated. The first shit. time that we we did it to promote for the, the live podcast. show. No, promote the oh, podcast. for the podcast it yeah. was, wasn't it? And, and then we did it again for the was live show. me. No one in the comments was like, oh, they were like, oh, I hope this is like, I hope you're well, George. I hope this is like going really well. Up until you posted yours <laughs> about an hour after mine. <laughs> mine, mine's growth was like this because everyone's like, oh no, George is quitting. As soon as yours posted, boom. <laughs> and all of the comments start flooded through like, well, this is bullshit, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it did. I really ruined it. But, and then we did it again for the live show, didn't we? Did we? I think so. I don't think we did. No, we didn't. I, I wouldn't have anyway. passed on that. <laughs> I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have said yeah let's just keep pretending we're quitting <laughs> oh for god's sake um but yeah i mean we oh want to say thank you to everybody who voted for us for the podcast awards we didn't win and we didn't get yeah, to so the top five more of you really should have done it so what we're, tr- what we're really trying to say here is <laughs> screw you we did get to screw the top five screw you yeah. <laughs> But we did get to the top 10, which is amazing considering yeah. how big the podcast were that were in the top Don't 10. Don't get any prizes for top 10 though, do we? <laughs> so if no. you could try much harder next year, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Or Put just, it in your diaries, everyone. Absolutely. Or just complain. Um, send in letters of complaints to the podcast awards saying yep. it's disgusting that you didn't double George's vaults. I mean, George's and Max's vaults just for the fact that they're really it's... cool. Just your votes? Mm, I don't know about that. Um, but thank you to lots of you looked in that secret link, by the way. Um, cool stuff may be coming soon. We'll just have to see, won't we? <laughs> hey, no one said I was coming anytime soon. Oh, God. Right, okay. Let's move on. <laughs> That's um, his nickname for me. <laughs> cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, awful. cool stuff. You coming? No, this oh. is... <laughs> Um, well, we actually have a secret little segment for you all that we've planned um, because we did it with Arthur TV and it was so painful to watch that we edited it out of the episode. Because wow, you're going to need to explain this now. That yeah. You're to describe it. We've got a little segment that we did with Arthur TV, uh, yeah. but it was so painful to watch. that. We- so you might have heard of the game Who's Punching, where we basically like get people, you ask people to send in pictures of themselves. Yeah. To, for us to basically vote who in the relationship is punching. Indeed. But we didn't really take into consideration that when we do it with our followers, it can come across as very mean. And we don't really have a lot to go off of because also, we don't really know. ugly. <laughs> and we just threw up <laughs> when we saw them. They came we through and we went, these people can't be real. Projectile. AI is incredible these days. It is, yeah. Like an orc from Lord of the Rings or something. <laughs> but it turns out, <laughs> it was actually you. Now that is orkies. <laughs> so we... Um, orkies. We're just doing celebs and stuff now, yeah. apparently. And, and also... Before, or, before oh. we couldn't, it may not just be celebrities. Oh. A TikTok went around from the charity match. Yeah. Somebody did celebrities at the Sidemen charity match. And then it was the first one was just me and Arthur, and then it was that just like going, it, no, but it was just going around to people just like YouTubers and like yeah, but that is like TikTokers yeah, but and stuff. If you go into the all of the charity match, then you th- <clears throat> that that is your like celebrity yeah, world. But isn't all it? of the comments were just, <laughs> bro, really said celebrities. Oh. You think celebrity? And I was there like, you didn't hey, say hey, it. Hey, I didn't. I didn't claim this. Mm. I am. I'm a massive celebrity, <laughs> but I didn't claim to be at the time. No, I'm not. I um, think no. Right. I hate, okay. No, celebrity is a weird word. It, it is a weird. It word. implies like, uh, like even famous is like I'm famous. Yeah. Like, you can have a let. I say we have a level of fame. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I'm famous because then it's because famous and celebrity get like a whole sort of. It, like an air of like yeah. I'm important look Twatty. at me yeah, there's agree. a level of fame everybody's got a level of fame we're just on the spectrum <laughs> George, much higher up. than you guys <laughs> hey we're on a, we're on, we're on, <laughs> George is just trying to be too nice we're right on now. a level of fame that you guys can only aspire to <laughs> only ever dream clip of that. So clip that so <laughs> I can understand why you'd call us that but I'd like to make it clear that we are that <laughs> Absolutely. Right, so speaking of the side men charity match, how was it? Uh, it was very good. Um, I went 
I enjoyed um, very wholesome actually oh. uh, Ethan Bazinga mm-hmm. scored a goal at, and it's his it's his uh, home ground like his uh, like football team he supports home ground oh. in front of 60,000 people wow. in a, like an event that him and his mates made together mm. and he's like been on this massive weight loss journey he recently had like a had surgery to get rid oh. of all like, the loose skin and everything yeah. and then scores at his home ground crowd oh. goes by and like takes his top off like skids it it was like a really like wholesome moment did you cry? Uh, no but I was like this wasn't is, that like, wholesome then was no, it? But I was like this is like re- this is really that's a really nice thing to happen you know what yeah. I'm really enjoying that mm. uh, and then Theo Baker injured himself and that was very much the opposite end of the spectrum because he's been Should training just... for a year after a hip surgery oh. so that he can get to a point where he's able to play and then he did something bad to his hip again should have stayed in the bakery that is an incredible joke. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it was it was it was good fun. I very much took advantage of the free bar. Oh, were you smashed? Far too much so to a point where I we went we went to the after party afterwards. Mm. Uh, that's that's usually tends where, to be when they yeah, are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we turned up before and we were like, where is everyone? This is weird. Um, but no, <laughs> it turns out it was afterwards. Um, and. I thought just because in my head I knew I was doing a vlog for the day, mm. like for TikTok. Go subscribe, uh, <laughs> go follow. Um, <laughs> and uh, so in my drunken state, I was like, "Oh, I need to get content. Need to get content." Uh, so I went up to Chris, which isn't a problem. He's, he's you know, we're we're good pals. Mm. Um, and just was like thoughts on the game. And it's like that's such an open-ended question. Yeah. You can't really do anything with that. Good. Um, and then I did the same with Josh Serka, who I, I've met a few times. Uh, he actually came over to me because the last time I saw him, um, we were playing Crocodile Dentist for shots, but we were doing it for a period of like an hour or like a, above, like the oh. fellas party, oh. where we were just sat, you know what Crocodile Dentist no. is? You click a tooth on the crocodile's mouth on your phone, uh, and one of the teeth means the crocodile snaps down on your finger, and then that means you've lost. So it's just, oh, it's just oh, it's like a- huh? Is it an app? An app, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's just a way to like see who does a shot, but we were doing it like over and over again. Yeah. Um, I ended up going home having no no recollection (laughs) of going home, just waking up like, what the hell happened? Mm. Um, So he just came over like, gave a crocodile dentist. I was like, (laughs) you silly thing. (laughs) And then went, thoughts of the game? (laughs) 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 But it was was quite, he had like quite funny responses. Mm. Um, and then I we did it. This is upside down. And then we did it. I did it with Stephen as well. Mm. Um, but we were both battered by this point. <laughs> and we did a game of All Star Mister and Misses. But I, I was going, Stephen, All Star Mister and Misses. I was just like, right, first one. And there was like a pause for about twenty seconds as we were both racking our brains to try and think of something remotely funny to do All Star Mister and Misses with. But we, I think, we were very drunk. Um, ended up only including one in the blog. I edited so much out of that because it was so bad. Thank God for all of our sakes. Um, but no, it was, it was good. It was a good party. Did anything crazy happen? Did you see any crazy celebs? Any crazy goss H happen? H was there. H was there. Mm. Isn't he like and his mate friends uh, with them? I J K L M N O P. <laughs> Woo! Alphabet dancer. Oh my God. Um, Jesus but Christ. No, I didn't speak to him. I think I looked at him. Ah. I can't remember speaking to him. I could have spoken to him, but Wait, I was which very one's drunk. H? H is H is the taller one, isn't he? Of what? Hit, I'm thinking of him and R D. Why do I always get them confused? Yes. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, got some pizzas to end the night. Oh. Simon Mini Minter. Is Simon leaving the side men? No, that was all a that was a hypothetical oh. situation on their podcast. Oh, where I saw like, the clip and I was like, like oh. so I'm leaving the side men. What do you, what is your guys like thing to do as right. like a repercussion to that? Like, how do you like yeah. solve that? Like, and sort of like smooth that over yeah. and stuff. When uh, do you think that but, they'll finish? Uh, usually after a couple of minutes. Oh my gosh. Um, no, I, th- I, I think oh. I, I'd, 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 I'd still give it like two, three years. Mm. Um, but yeah, had some pizzas. Cool. So I asked someone for a mighty meaty or whatever the hell it was. It was, but he got me a some weird chicken pesto pizza. Oh, that sounds fancy. Actually. So I gave him a piece of my mind. Yeah. And by that I meant. That's all right. No worries. I'll eat this. This is don't great. worry about it. It's my Thank favorite you. pizza. Yeah, that sounds nice. To be fair, that sounds quite fancy. Chicken and pesto pizza. Not often you get pesto on pizza. No. Yeah. Well. Um, well, I'm glad that you had a great time, Thanks. and I'm glad they raised like millions of pounds, didn't they? Two point four million pounds. Good on you. Just Do you know what? During the duration of the match, I think. 
Oh my yeah, god. Congrats, side man. Right, so um complete opposite end to that. I did a charity event. I stole from an orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> no. Complete opposite end to give it to charity. <laughs> no, I did a charity event when you were away in Sri Lanka yeah. and we raised money for charity. It wasn't exclusively a charity event, but it was an influencer event with lots of big influential rich people coming. So we used it as an opportunity Why did I invite you there? to raise shut up. I was actually hosting it. Thank you. Um to raise money for charity. Yeah. So oh, is imagine that the charity George, came in, they made you host it. I was shut up. <laughs> How dare you? Um there were loads of big celebs in and they thought, Oh, let's give let's give it to Max. Shut the fuck He'll up. Enjoy it, bless Imagine, him. right, so I there's about 150 people invited. It's mm. a free bar. It's an unreal the, the dress code was like like glamour or something. So it was like a rich, like fun event. For charity. We'd, for charity, yes. We'd made it clear that throughout every at the bar um, you could like tap to like where you would use what's it called a card reader. What and do they call it? Money. I don't deal with that anymore. I just get my, my people to deal with yeah. it. Yeah. No, we made it so clear like, oh, because the drinks are free. So like every time you go to the bar, just tap the card reader and it'll mm. donate five pounds to this charity. I but myself five donated. A drink? No, it was free. But yeah, but donate. So is it have to be five pounds? No, you didn't have to. You didn't have to, oh, but it was brilliant. like. Brilliant. Free bar then. Well, like, well, fucking. Yeah. So, right. <laughs> I, I donated a thousand pounds myself to the charity. I want you to guess how much money was raised. Subtle. But but I thought like I was hosting the event. Like that's like a, I, I'm like very fortunate. That's yeah. the least that I can do. I want you to guess out of all the influencers and all the like mega more average rich. Oh my God. More wealthy than most people that were there. How much money was raised? 1,010 pounds. 1,250 pounds. The whole evening, that's all that was raised. How many people were there? 150 people. And £250 was raised other than what I donated. How bad is that? And I'm not saying, like, fuck you to those people. Like, some people might have got their friends to order drinks for them and not even known. But we made it so clear that the donation bits were all around the room. Yeah. £250 is all that we raised. I could not believe it when I found out. Because I said the next day, I was like, how much did we raise? And they were like, £1,250. And I was like oh my gosh, that's actually like pretty good. And then they were like, that's including your donation. And I was like, you are taking the right old piss. That is crazy. All these minted people. So even if they all donated... Five pounds. Like How much would two, that have been? If they donated two pounds each, what, five times... Well, the 150? minimum donation was five pounds. Five times 150. Five times 150. Uh, that's at least seven seven hundred and fifty. Bear in mind the event went on for about I think. <laughs> well, there was. I just found it funny. I was like, so at seven fifty, you go. That's at least seven hundred and fifty. <laughs> I need I need the factual evidence. So and bear in mind the event went on for about six or seven hours. Like it was a long yeah. event, and everyone was really drunk, I and everyone got free drinks all night. When you get more night. drunk and more drunk, that you like forget about it. Yeah. But then also you be like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it, literally. But oh well. People just no, that's that's not us um saying like you're a wanker if you don't give to charity. No, of course saying, not. But it's, it's like if you're well off and you're at an event when you're at an event with people who are in like a privileged position. A privileged position. Yeah. Oh well. Right. Moving on. I wasn't at said event. I'd like to. No, you weren't. Um, but you actually did steal from the charity fund. Just putting that out there, everybody. I caught him red-handed. He was wearing a full burglar outfit, weren't you? Mm -hmm. And um, you tried to break into a vault and steal the 250 pounds. And I said, no, George, not today. This episode's gone a bit off the rails, hasn't it? <laughs> right, we've got a game of who's punching. <laughs> We've right, still not done it. It's for you audio listeners. Yes. <laughs> yeah, guess. Guess. Um, right, who? so audio <laughs> listeners, we will explain who the people are and um, we'll go from there. First up, Jamie Lang and Sophie Habu. I just think that she is so beautiful. Yeah, but why, why why are you just completely ignoring Jamie off the bat? I mean, he's, he looks very charming. <laughs> Jamie Lang and Sophie are a bit, oh my God, Sophie. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. Do you know um, what Joe Baggs said? He looks like, no. um, do you know what Ozempic is? No. It's this new, like, well, it's not new, but it's, it's basically a drug for diabetics that forces you to stop being hungry. And yeah. loads of, like, rich people have now started using it and they've dramatically lost weight. Oh. He said that um, Jamie Lang looks like Boris Johnson on Ozempic. I was going to say <laughs> looks like, like Jedward's stepbrother. Oh, oh, that's very accurate. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, Jamie Lang, I'm sure that he has a banging personality. And... 
and a large bank balance. Yeah, so um, fair enough. But I, I would say, <laughs> Jamie, attractive man, but Sophie, more attractive yeah. and woman. Yeah, Jamie has nice teeth, nice yeah. eyes, no eyebrows. No. Perhaps, What's going on perhaps you'll get a, a slightly better rating next time, Jamie, if you work on if you work on the brow yeah, situation. Yeah, get some brow gel or summer, and um, I can't take the. Your hair does not look that good in this clip, but I mean, I can't take the piss. Cause look at mine. <laughs> we did right say now. highbrow couple, not eyebrow couple. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> what do you like? <laughs> right, so we're saying that Jamie's punching there. Yeah, fair enough. Right. <laughs> next up, right, you can say these. Ethan Bazinga and Faith. Is his name actually, is his last name Bazinga? Yeah, his mother was a massive fan of, um, what's it called, uh, The Big Bang Theory. Oh, shut up. So I'm guessing that means no. Right, Faith is just so beautiful, isn't she? I uh, Yeah, she is. But that, that made it sound like I was going to say no. <laughs> no, she is. Faith is, Faith is a beautiful, yeah. wo- beautiful woman. But I would say Ethan has had a large glow up in recent years. What do you used to look like? Just not how he looks now. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, he's, not helpful. He's, but this picture doesn't do him any favors. No, it fairness. doesn't. But, but yeah. um, Ethan's an attractive man. Lost yeah. a lot of weight recently. Congratulations. Right. Okay, so you're saying that people who haven't lost weight are unattractive? Yes. Um, <laughs> and I would go ahead and say. <laughs> oh my God. That's that, a joke. Yeah, that is a joke. But, uh, Fuck you. It's a, it's a much more healthy weight, and you're looking gorgeous, Ethan. Um, right. <laughs> but who is punching? I would say that Ethan is punching. I would say that Ethan is ever so slightly punching. Yes. Oh, fair enough. But I mean, I think they're very, very equal couple, though. Oh, okay. Abby Clancy and Peter Crouch. Ooh. Wow. I mean, she, especially in this picture, looks absolutely bloody gorgeous. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. I think Peter Crouch is a very attractive man. Do you think so? I mean, he looks it in this picture, but do you reckon he's a bit? That was that was a horrible thing to say. Do you think so? (laughs) Really? No, I I think, um, well, Peter's punching. Let's let's be right. Okay, let's not be around the bush. Oh, he's he's, so tall. He he said he says it himself, but I think because Abby is so attractive. Mm. People disregard how attractive Peter is. Yes, he's if a Peter very attractive in, man. If he was in a like a an average relationship, everyone mm. would go, Do you know what, I reckon Peter's yeah. punching. But unfortunately, you're not. And yeah. in this one, you look <laughs> ugly, Peter. So <laughs> Abby, <laughs> So you are punching. I think you look great, Pete. Come on the pod. <clears throat> Love you. Um oh my god, right. Joe and George Bags. This is ridiculous because they're brothers. Yeah, and, um, and we've said many, many times, boys, you need to stop <laughs> doing that. I once, um, when I was on their podcast, I made some weird joke about them like sleeping with each other, which is obviously yeah, not true. Yeah, they don't want anyone to know about no, it. No, so and it's it's exactly, yeah, they want to keep yeah. it on the DL, don't they? And mm. um, then the brother, uh, the, the, the like comments just started being like, is this true? And I was like, of course it's not fucking true, but I'm going to keep eating yeah. into it. Whoa, feeding into it. bloody hell, don't keep eating into yeah, it. Yeah, jeez, right, okay. Leave I'm going to gonna say... <clears throat> I mean, George Bags is very much in his fitness era. If you look mm-hmm. at his TikTok, he will remind you of that every single day because he'll have his top off and be showing his big Ooh. fancy tits off to you. Um, and Joe Bags is also in his fitness era. He is. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've also I don't know seen, who's punching here. I've seen this. I've Obviously, seen Joe, Joe has the height dick. advantage. Although this isn't oh, a, this isn't punching mind. in terms of a boxing fight, oh. but in terms of attractiveness, does height play a well, play a so role I've had this conversation because me. I am no, <laughs> because I am a gay man. Are you? Height do, shocking. I know height doesn't really play into it as much with me because, mm. like, I am a man and I'm going to be with a man. So, like, one of us is going to be taller than the other, and it, there isn't really any norms I mean, that are in place. In a relationship to, with myself with a and a woman, one of us is going to be taller than each other as well. Yeah, but, but men, straight <clears throat> men, are more likely to go for a girl that's smaller than yes. them than shorter. So. George would Spoiler typically than shorter. So George would typically have a more difficult time getting with a woman, I guess. But I mean, he, he doesn't do I bad. I thought you were saying that about me then. Oh no, you definitely would, but for other reasons. That's, Whereas I've seen George on a night out. The girls are all over him, like absolutely. This is hard, you know. I guess it's what what you're into. If you want, if I wanted somebody to, you know, um, to to take me for a drive in their car, they've probably got a really loud exhaust. And um, mm. they probably well, trust smell. me. I've shared a room with Joe. I know he's got a loud exhaust. Oh my god, awful. Um, I <laughs> would say, personalmente, hmm? Joe just tips it. Uh. Just, just the stubble. 
It's a little something right. extra. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I get what you mean. Yeah, George has still Nothing got... taking away from you, George. Yeah, he's still uh, especially got Especially not height. <laughs> he doesn't need that in his life. <laughs> but no, very attractive man. Fitness journey going very well. Yeah. Um, and Joel's Joel's been um, doing the Botox, baby. He has, and um, it's it's paying off because hey. he looked he looked absolute shit before that. Mm. He did. I, I went up to him and I said, "Looks pay, people. Is it even looks you pay. anymore, Joel? Because you look haggard." Mm. Um, but yeah, so right, fair enough. Looking rich. Love them both. Talia oh. and Simon. Right, so this is Talia Moore and Simon from the Mini Sidemen. Mini Minter. Mini Minter. Okay. And let me tell you, his Minter is tiny. Right. Um, Let's think about this critically because Talia Mar is objectively one of the most beautiful well, women in the world. Her. Oh, okay. Sorry, she's subjectively one there of the most go. beautiful women in the world. Mm -hmm. And in this picture, especially, I don't know Simon. I've heard nothing but lovely things. He <laughs> looks like. Only been speaking to me then. <laughs> he kind of looks like this picture, especially looks. It kind of looks like the girl, like Talia is like celebrating like her 21st and yeah. she's getting a picture with her uncle. <laughs> that is <laughs> Doesn't awful. it? Doesn't it though? It does that's, a little bit. Do you know what I mean? That's their engagement photo. I know, but that's, it does. Like it looks so like he's, mean. But it looks like she like knows the angle. She's like looking into the camera. He's not even looking into the camera properly because he's probably thinking like, what's this iPhone that you've got? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> of course, Simon Minion and his technology. <laughs> don't go very far. No, I think I would say like, Simon's uh, uh, Simon's an attractive man. He is. He definitely is. But I um, think when you're comparing him to Talia, it's just a bit. But I mean, I think that there's a common theme here, isn't there? Like women are probably just better looking than men across the board. No. Weird thing for you to say. <laughs> I um, mean, yeah. I, <laughs> I, uh, I would. I would tend to. That, that seems to be what the general trend is. Uh, sorry, Joe, for the last one. Well, actually, um, no, the general trend is, what I've actually found is that when it's a successful man, or like a famous man, mm -hmm. they often have girlfriends or wives that are miles better looking than them. And I'm not saying that that's the case with this, because I so think that they're both good looking. you're saying that a trophy wife. No. That's a bit crazy, Max. I was just going to say that Shut Talia up. is a very attractive woman, and Ma and uh, Simon is a very attractive man, but Talia just, I think, is... I think Simon is just punching in that relationship. Fair enough, fair enough, yeah. Um... Oh, okay. Millie and Liam. Oh, wait, let me load it. My phone's being shit. Millie and Liam from Love Island. Actually, this is a very even, I would mm. say. This is very difficult. Very, very difficult. I've met Liam once, and he was very well put together because it was the Barbie movie, whereas mm. I've met Millie multiple times, and I've seen her and absolutely <laughs> sloshed off her tits. <laughs> so I've seen both the good and the bad of Millie, and mm. um, even when she was absolutely twatted, she still looked lovely. Mm. So um, this is a difficult I... one. They're just a very attractive couple, and they're, they're annoyingly attractive. They are. I would say... I, do you know what? I think I'm going to just tip it to Liam. I think oh, okay. Liam is a... Fault him, try. I'm not saying you can fault Millie. I'm just saying, mm. is a yeah, very attractive man. Do you know what? I'm gonna give just it like to grow Millie. up at that point. At that point, like, because he's tall as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's very like, tall. Just grow up. In it, I know. Piss Actually, off. Actually, grow up. Why are you being that good looking for? Honestly, when I look at myself in the mirror after I've eaten a bolognese, I said to you last night, I just eaten a bolognese. Mm. I looked at myself in the mirror. I was in my underwear. I was expanding not, at a Max, rapid not on the speed. Podcast is going to become a standing. Oh my god! Again. Yeah, sorry, I meant my stomach, not my whatever. <clears throat> and I almost burst into tears at how disgusting I looked. I bet he's I never done I mean, that. I have to sit across from you at the podcast every week. Fair enough. Um, um, I'm going to say that Liam's punching, just because I think that Millie is is stunning. That's right. fair enough. <laughs> Chip and Cal Freezy. Chip and Freezy. I mean. Hmm. Again, both lovely gentlemen. Yeah, debatable. Cal Freezy is definitely punching. Definitely is correct. Sorry, Cal. <laughs> uh, I, look, Chip's Chip's a good looking man. His mullet uh, is hard carrying at the moment. That is really. But cool. I would I would argue, as soon as the tops come off, the 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 balance is. What do you mean? Chip's got the worst shoulder hair I've ever seen. <laughs> shoulder hair, <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> and he and he and he he's like proud of it. What? So he's got like a little rucksack, like like rug, not rucksack. Oh shit, yeah. Like sh like down the side of the shoulders. Like really? I've seen it on top of shoulders, but he's got it like side. Oh, I have a little bit here to be fair, but I shave it because I'm not proud of it. No, but um, oh wow. Okay, so what? I so would... you're saying that his his shoulder hair brings him down quite a few notches? But he covers it up normally. 
Right. So yes. I'd say Chip, Chip beats it and Freezy's punching, but, um, you know, he's. Freezy's very tall, though. And when you think, like, because how tall is Chip? Uh, about the like, same height as me. Oh, okay. So small. I'm joking. <laughs> but Freeze. Freezy's especially tall, isn't it? Freezy's and women like six, love a tall man. Six, three or something like that. Right. So that's tall. Mm. Oh, it's difficult then. But I would say, I mean, I'd say Chip. Chip has lovely teeth. He has lovely lips. What about Freezy's? He's he's got teeth. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a he's got a he's lot got of them. Teeth. I would um I I Freezy do, could do eat an apple for offense. I'm, I'm not I'm not <laughs> judging. Oh my god! All I'm saying is that, <laughs> that <was> so <laughs> eat an apple through a fence. Oh my god! That was a joke, Callum. Uh, All I'm saying is that if he bit into an apple and then tried to deny it, you'd be able to tell that it was him. <laughs> what did you say? You'd be able to tell that it was him who bit into the apple because it would leave a mark that's very distinctive. But I had the same issue, honestly. I had the worst teeth ever, so I can comment on this, but I got mine fixed. <laughs> You're and, still talking about the poor bloke's and teeth. Cal Freezy, you arguably have a lot more money than I do, so you have no arguably. excuse. Arguably? Definitely have a lot more money than I do, so you have no excuse, all right? I'll send you my dentist number. <laughs> Love you, Freezy. Please keep inviting but me also, to videos. <laughs> but also, if you don't want to, do you know what? Be yourself. I think it's nice. Look how much he's, he's smiling. He's more attractive now than he is in this photo, by the way. Oh, how long ago was this? Uh, last, last week, year, Rose, it looks like all world. Cup. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. I think I think they're both attractive. Just putting that out there, by yeah. the way. Glow ups. Um, yeah, you, you got that, you got that rich money look. I never like it though. Can I just say something? I never like it when a man has a beard and it is just under here. Chin strap. Chin strap. Get rid of your chin strap. Like so, what we're doing. Uh, some people can't. I know they can't, but they don't have one. The the thing that always boggles my little brain is that you could just grow a full beard if you wanted yeah. to. Oh, I, I when I when I had COVID in lockdown, I did it. I think I've told you this. But here grew ginger. But How weird is where, that? Do you get like cheeks as well? Yes, all, all like dark brown, and then here was ginger, just like on How my chin. How much money end. would I have to pay? I've done this before. How much money would I have to pay you to just grow it out for a month? I would do it for charity. Should we do it for charity one time? Well, you yeah. you shave your head and I'll grow a beard. What? 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 Am I, shaving I don't know. I don't know. I How, just, well, yeah. how the hell are they equal? But I'll do it for more. November's coming up, isn't it? Oh my god, shall I do it? Yeah, yeah, both of us. I mean, he already fucking, he's already got it. Yeah, you have to grow your pubes out and you're not allowed to shave them for a month. And I'll, I'll do You're meant thing. to shave your pubes. <laughs> oh my God, I once had a I've friend. I've just been tucking them in. I once had a... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I've just been platting them. That's crazy. I like a Viking down there. Oh. You take the piss. I once had a friend and he was like... I struggled to find my cock most days. <laughs> I just took it into my socks. Um, I once had a friend and he fully, and he was a lot older than me, like four years older than me. And he fully like asked me, like sat down and he was like, so do you like shave your pubes then? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, cause I was with a girl the other night and um, she refused to sleep with me because my pubes were too long. But I just thought everyone had long pubes. And I was like, first of all, how long do your pubes have to be if someone's refusing to sleep with you? Second of all, he was like 24. I was like, you've never shaved your pubes and you're 24 years old. Jeez. Bush monkey. Wild. Bush monkey? Yeah, he lives in the bush. Right, okay, next. Oh. Fuhatan James. From Shits and Gigs podcast. Right, okay. I... I have seen these two in person. See, the... The normal struggle is that they're both just too attractive. <laughs> Not a problem here, guys. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I think... <laughs> I mean... They both have great hair. Putting that out there. I've seen them both in person. Strong hair in terms of beard and top of head. Very strong. Very, very strong. Yeah. You can tell that these are wealthy men who maybe didn't have good hair, but could afford a hair transplant. Um... Not sure if that's true. I'm just mm. presuming. I think... Who had fit is looking much drippier. It is. And I think that's carrying. Also, like, the muscles. He's giving big arm muscles. Oh, you didn't He's have to guide arms. me towards those bad boys. They were prominent. And is James wearing chinos? <laughs> that's what a year bit... is it? 2012? Is Literally. That, is that top used to have Rihanna on it? <laughs> Am I right, guys? Good fun. I do remember um, those. Great times. Um, I would have to say that Fuhad is absolutely twatting James here. And, Whoa. Um, Rude. And um, 
And not to say that James is an unattractive man, look at me, okay? I simply cannot compare. Um, however, I'm going to be highly judgmental in this moment and say that Fuhad would absolutely punch James off the shits and gigs table. But James table. is punching, is what you're saying. James is, in fact, punching, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, would, I, would, I would happen to agree that yeah. you're both lovely, tasty little men. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's have a bite. Oh, okay. This is Lottie Moss and Adam, I can't remember his last name. Collard. Collard. Mm. And I don't think these are actually a couple, but they were on Celebs Go Dating together. I think that Lottie Moss is so gorgeous. Adam Collard, I once saw him in Newcastle and it gave me the ick so bad. We was in this right. like outdoor like bar space and he got up on the tables to dance and was definitely doing it like, look at me, I'm like Adam from Love Island. And I was like, Ew, like, and all like the 12 year old girls were going over to him and he was loving it. And I was like, you are making me feel sick right now. That like is... you're a 35 year old man, grow up and get your mortgage sorted. That's, yeah, um, was, um, but yeah, that's second. all I've got to say on that. So also he just looks, I don't know, I'm looking at his face right now and he just looks a bit like, shifty. Exactly, like who goes over to get a picture with Adam Collard? Like, that is a... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, George has got a picture with Adam Collard. That is fucking brilliant. <laughs> Please tell me you were in like a prism or something. I know that you were. Exeter Unit 1, I think it used to be, it was called. What is that? Like a student like bar? Like a, a chain of clubs like called Unit 1, like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, there, like all over the place. Yeah. Exeter Unit 1, 2018. Oh my God. <laughs> She's a 12 year old oh girl. Oh my God. You are the 12 year old girl. You are. That's oh my so God. Funny. That needs to be a clip. That's brilliant. Oh. What the literal fuck? He's such yeah. a large man, by the way. <laughs> Although to be fair, I was very small. I yeah. Oh no, he's huge. He's literally like, he's like, like six seven five. foot tall. Yeah, he's huge. At that point, again, grow up. Like you're an, a, a, another person just needs to grow up. <laughs> Wait, we haven't even said who's punching there. Oh, um, Adam's punching. Do you think so? She's Lottie Mossy. Uh, she's Kate Mossy's younger sister. Definitely. <laughs> why is, why is I know I realise that that doesn't really make much sense, like... yeah. But she just yeah, I just think that she's so pretty. Um That's a difficult one. They're both just very attractive. Oh my god, do you know who he looks a little bit like? And I'm not trying to be rude. Waluigi from Mario Kart. <laughs> doesn't he? Do you not think? Do you know what Waluigi looks like? If he was in a little purple suit, I could I could yeah. see it, I reckon. Oh my god, he should go um, him for Halloween. Yeah, okay, I'd I'll, I'll say Adam's punching them. Yeah, definitely. Who's Freya it? and Josh <laughs> Zerka. This is so this picture is so old. What? Um Is this one of the side men? Yeah, I can comfortably say they are but they are both far more attractive now. <laughs> right, fair enough. Um Wow. But so have they been together for a long time then? They've been together like seven or eight years, oh I think. Oh my god. Over 10, is Jeez, it? Jeez, yeah, I was going to say, this picture's giving, like, 2012 vibes. Yeah. Um, Josh, fully bearded now. Got a nice little oh curl God. to his hair. I'm presuming less acne. Um, whoa. Don't, oh. shame, don't shame the acne, man. No, I'm not, but he uh, looks like a teenager no, here. No, no, he's, like, 31 yeah. now, I think. Yeah, he looks like a teenager. Um, Freya, grown up. Met her the first time at the after party. Oh, really? She nice. Said hello. Lovely girl. Imagine if you just went, no, she's a bitch. <laughs> no, absolutely wank it. And she looks even worse now. Uh, no, she's in there. <laughs> joking. Come on, guys. You can tell that um, they're a good couple just by looking yeah. at this picture. And the fact that they've been together 10 years. Yeah, I think enough. that might have been contributing <laughs> yeah. slightly to the fact. Um, but no, as much as I am a fan of you, Joshua, I'm going to have to say that you are punching. Yeah, he's definitely punching. Bless him. I'm sure he's lovely, but yeah. Although the new hair carries. Like, he's, his new hair... His, it's his more. I think it's more natural hair. You can see his hair's got a wave in it. Oh right. Okay. Last one. Mia and Will and E. William Lenny. I've um, seen Mia in person. I've never seen Will and E in person, but Mia is stunning. Look, I'm not gonna. Uh, let's cut to the chase here. William, you are punching. Yeah, he is. I he definitely was. I, <laughs> but again, they, they, they've all glown up since getting money, though, haven't they? I mean, Will's <laughs> Will's got a mullet now. How does he? Enjoyable. Oh okay. Um, but. Yeah, he's punching. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. It's... And again, a trend. These rich, successful men have beautiful girlfriends. I think that... What are you saying there with that point, Max? Mm? What are you saying with that point? I'm saying that 
like she's really pretty. Okay. I think because if you think about it, um, if you're looking for like a, a partner, if they were like, oh boy, am I looking? A lot of social media people typically, I mean, if they're known for having a good personality, have a good personality, mm. and they have such a good personality that they're getting like a big following because That's very of it. true. That makes and sense. And money doesn't hurt, yeah. so like nine times out of ten, they're gonna get a good girlfriend, aren't they? Who like looks really nice and probably is very nice. That makes that so, makes sense. Cowabunga, baby! Well um, done, us. We made it through the game. Yeah. Well and done. I'd like to say, of all the people that I've actually met on that list, all of them lovely. Yes. Um, but most of them ugly. Lovely, but <laughs> ugly. Oh my gosh, I can hear the phone ringing, George. Can you, one second, I'll just... Yeah, just get, just grab it, just grab it. Oh. Hello? No, don't be silly. Hello? Don't be silly, no. Just Sorry, so you just... Oh, yeah, just pop it on speaker. Pop it on speaker. Right. There we go, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. Oh, so hold on, hold on. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. So, Shut up. Hello, hold He's on. He's doing the Arthur oh. TV thing. <laughs> Shut up, right. <laughs> Back to the beginning. Hi, Max and George. So, Hello. I've just recently turned 18 and I'm in my second year of college. What's your Instagram? <laughs> and over the summer, I had a little summer fling. He was a few years older than me and a lot of my friends said that it was, it was stupid because I was 17. But I said, I'm nearly 18, it's fine. And this guy, he was I think he was 26. Or he might have been 25. I can't actually remember now. Anyway, so, we've done everything that you could think of. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to leave it at that. Molten Towers? Um, lost contact with the guy because it was a summer fling and things just happened like that. And today was my first day of college. Nice. I'm no, going into sick. my class, I sit down, no. and I look up at the teacher, and the teacher is the guy that I have fucked over the summer on multiple occasions. No. I thought it was just Thought Park, not fucking! I really oh. don't know what to do, and I need some fucking help. The teacher... Peter! ...is losing his job. Yeah! What the hell? This is what the road. This is panic mental. Panic lose my job. <laughs> that is crazy. Number one, red flags. Uh, obviously, <laughs> a twenty-six slash twenty-five year old going for someone who isn't who is uh, le- a teenager. A teenager, yeah, yeah, not yeah. an adult yet. No, that's weird. That's very much. That's beyond a red flag. That's a, a, a jail cell. And then that, and it's I don't, is that is that jail worthy? Yeah, if, if they're Nonce. under eighteen. Yeah, nonce. Sixteen? Is it sixteen? Yeah. Oh, it's legal, but it's morally wrong. That's yeah. it. Uh, weird. Uh, no, it is illegal if you're a teacher. No, it's but that's what, I was, that's what I was going to say. Like, but then the fact that you're a teacher on top illegal. of that, you should like you. I, I uh, that's weird. That makes me question the the thought yeah. process behind the job. Then, then becoming a teacher on the application. Are you just looking out for some local talent whilst you're grading and the papers? Look, you've you've had your whole summer fling together you're telling me you've that had your whole abused that you're, you're telling me that jesus christ maxine you're you're telling me that at no point did school never come up yeah like, it's not like it was a protect he like he knew the age mm. and not only did that he most likely knew that you were going to be going to a school nearby yeah. in which case you'd be like could be teaching mm. you weird, weird odd weird i don't like odd. it even like when you hear of like people from like finishing like sixth form mm. at, at 18 and then leaving in sort of and then getting with a teacher noodling. that is still odd that's what that teacher tried to do to me weird. i told you that story didn't i on mm. grinder and then my school and As then I made it, it happened on grinder he didn't tell me about it on grinder yeah no and then <laughs> the bad ball and um then i made a tiktok about it and then the school had an assembly about it nice nice work baby but it is crazy like yeah. because it makes you think at the time i was just like lol that's so crazy lol but no this person knew me when i was like 15 years old and yeah. now as soon as i turn 18 messages me that's weird is there a cutoff point for when it's weird? Yes, a few years later. So, well, when it's legal, legally, teachers are not allowed to be in contact with past students for like two years after they leave. I think. Right. I, I was Unless say, they already like, knew them. I was gonna say, like, if you bumped into each other, they're like. Oh, I'd shag some of my teachers now. Therefore, Name Mrs. And shame. Clayton getting knobbed over the table. <laughs> What? <laughs> I didn't even have a teacher called Mrs. He's Clayton. Th- throwing his sexuality out the window for that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, I would shag so many teachers just for the sake of it. But like, when's the point where you're like, okay, that's actually like normal. Like if you like bumped into each other, they were like 50, you're like 25, then it's like, oh, what's the... Oh, they're 50? 
Were they going to be old? Are they your teacher? George, I was only in school like six years ago. And not 25 years ago. <laughs> I don't know, but Most like, teachers were like younger at my school by the time I left. Well, the same age as you. <laughs> Probably quite similar. Some of them were like in the early 20s. And I shagged every last one of them. Nice. Yeah. Um, would you shag any of your teachers? No. I, you I, would. I don't think I would. You would. I've seen your scrapbook. No, because all my all my mates were always like, and they'd back me up on this. They were like, oh yeah, but insert name of teacher. She's oh she's fit. She, mm. Yeah, she's proper fit. Oh, I don't know. I think it's just because she's a teacher. You yeah, think she's probably. attractive. It's that elusiveness, isn't it? It's like yeah. I would shag the queen. Obviously, she's dead. R.I.P. But I 100% would have just to say that I shagged the I'm queen. I'm glad you said would have instead of now. Look, <laughs> look, I'd shag the queen. The queen. Look, she's dead. But I would shag her. <laughs> no, look, if, not given now. the given, given any opportunity. It'd be so difficult. To Give get me access. Now. <laughs> oh my god! And oh. the deed is getting done. But like, yeah, just to be like, oh my gosh, okay. how iconic! Um, I shagged the queen. Okay, just in terms of status. Ask me, people, if yeah, I would in, in, ter- in terms of status, uh, like they they may be attractive as well, but just because of who they are, who is the sort of highest profile? Ask me questions. Can Ask me questions. And I'll say yes or no. The Pope. I would shag the Pope. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just to say that I have shagged the Pope, I would one hundred percent. I'm not young enough. <laughs> <laughs> Our producer said something very funny offset. Um, carry on. The Dalai Lama. Is he still alive? I think so. I'm pretty sure he licked a kid's face recently. Oh, uh, maybe not then. Maybe not. That's a bit. Do you know what? I don't. The what? fact you're, you're to... steering clear of the Dalai Lama because he licked a kid's face, but yeah. Pope's good to go. Well, the fact, I th- I, the fact that I had to. Even ask if he was still alive means that he's not relevant enough for me to be putting putting it out for. Do you know Dalai what I mean? Lama, you heard it here first. Folks. Sorry, not very clouded. Sorry, get mo- get TikTok and then come back to me. <laughs> Dalai Lama's not clouded. Um, Gandhi. <clears throat> Gandhi. Gandhi's would you, been to Darwin. Would you shag Gandhi? Gandhi has been to Darwin. So That's yeah. not the answer. What did he? Go, I would go shag, and visit you. He came to visit Darwin, it like right. years ago. Um, and I think it was. To, I genuinely think it was to like visit some of the most like impoverished places in the UK. I'm not even joking. And you'd shag him for it. I would absolutely run rails on Gandhi just for that. <laughs> I would just okay. for that. Okay. Um, Charles Darwin. I don't know what he looks like, and to be fair, he's dead. Like so looks have been a contributing factor for this, and you just said you'd shag Gandhi. Yeah, Gandhi might be attractive. I don't really know what Gandhi looks like, to be honest with Do you. Do you want to show you a picture of Gandhi? Yeah. I feel like why, I feel you, like why did you not care about what Gandhi looks like? Because he's Charles been to Darwin, Darwin do and he's Gandhi. Charles Darwin. Charles just Darwin's like name is Darwin. Oh, true, very true. Yeah, I yeah. am. Let me see Gandhi. Are you going to show me a proper Mingan picture? No, he's of nice. He, 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 is, he is an attractive man. I think he, I think you would be punching in this relationship, but Gandhi's all right. Gandhi's got nice robes. I'd undress good him point. and I'd have a good go. You'd, you'd, you'd undress him and oh. take out the one thing that you pointed out that was nice. Oh, do you know what, Gandhi? Fair enough. I feel like he's a very respectful man and he would probably not appreciate me making love to him. The Dalai Lama? The Dalai Lama I don't really know much about. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about him. I'm sure that he is also a respected gentleman and um, therefore I would not shag him because I would like to pay my respects. Right, so you, this, is, this is all about you just like... In, enjoying the position of clout. power. Yeah, if I would shag them for clout. Um, James Charles. No. I feel like that would bring me down notches quite so severely. So you're saying you're above James Charles right now? Um, I'm not saying that I'm above him. I'm saying I'm too old. But you bring, it'd bring you down notches. It would also, yeah. I think. If I, if I publicly said I've shagged James Charles, more people would know about me, but it wouldn't be the attention that I would want. Okay. James Corden. I would shag James Corden. Stop it. Clip it. Clip it. (laughs) Purely to when we finish. Go meow. Just go meow. (laughs) Because he was in Cats. Because he was in Cats. Okay. David Beckham. Absolutely. I'd do that for if nobody knew. I'd do that if it was just between me and him. Okay. Absolutely. David Attenborough. Absolutely. I would. You'd kill him. I'd kill him off. (laughs) You can't go for David. I would. Not now, not ever. Oh. 
Yeah, but imagine how much I could learn. While we're making love, Bex, I'd go... You're fruitful in colour. <laughs> Do you say fruitful in cum? Colour. Oh. oh, oh you aren't though, are you? No. The pale beast rests upon my bed. <laughs> Aw, that's quite cute. Pale beast? Yeah, pale beast. I'd take it from David. And I wonder what I've got myself into. <laughs> Right, next. Um, David Tennant. No, I never watched Doctor Who, so I don't think I'd get off that much. He is... Uh, he is daddy. Would you <laughs> Would you shag David Tennant for clout? Not for clout. Just for fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> Carol Vorderman. Absolutely. I think... What a brain. Nice. And what a banging pair of tits as well. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I would, yeah, I would shout Carol Vorderman just to be like, I've shagged Carol Vorderman. Jeremy Clarkson. No, that would be a really hard shag. I don't think well, I'd be able just to be get going, through it. Power! Oh, Power! God. Oh, my God. No, that's awful. You've got the most pale skin oh. in the world. Right, one more. You've Make got it a big the one. biggest breasts on a man. I've ever seen. Oh my god! Um, Too close to home. Elmo. What? Elmo. You can't shag a puppet. I've tried. Okay, shag the man who controls. No, nobody Basil cares. Brush. Oh, now we're talking Basil Brush. No. Would you have a dazzle pod and Basil? Oh. No, no, not Basil Brush. Sorry, not having it. Oh. Not, not, not cutting it for me. I've met the guy. The guy who puts his hand up Basil's Have ass. you? Yeah. They good. You, oh, I mean, I didn't say can you put one up me. I oh just, right, okay. I just said, you oh. know, um, right, that's, that would have been the first thing I would have uh, thought. He, I, he he had hand in Basil at the time. Oh. And I took a picture with him. Oh. What about every single one of the tweenies? At once. Yeah. I'll give him a teeny to a tweeny. Sure. Why not? They are literally children. They're adults in costumes to look like How children. How do you Max, know? There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I've checked. <laughs> right, can we end this now? I feel sick. I feel sick. Um, oh, I've okay. just got an email. Oh, have you? Thank God, because that was going west very quickly. Can you? I've also, I'm also typing for some reason. But I want to put this hat on, but I just... Is it then? I don't, but it's going to wreck my hair, even though it's already ruined. I'm going... I can't wear the hat to the event that I'm going to after this, because that would be unprofessional. But a cat that says useless on it. Yeah. <laughs> People would be like, oh, are you? Right, okay. Hi, Max and George. Hello. I love you both. Bunch of fitties. It actually There's has fifties. Is there a bunch okay. of fifties? Yeah. Hi, you know, I'm 23. Oh, okay, I'm 24. Also, George, I'm from Bristol too, and I accidentally killed my nan, but hear me out. What? Sorry, what? why are we saying that I, I, this is something I can relate to yeah. as well? Yeah, does that happen a lot in Bristol? I actually don't live in Bristol. Okay. <laughs> that was the bit, that, it's expectation subversion is what that was. Jesus. So, I was making my famous spaghetti bolognese. All you need to know is I make a banging spag ball. Nice. And my nan was over. But I always make spag ball with onions because what kind of sicko doesn't make it with onions? Yeah. Anyway, I forgot that she was deathly allergic and nobody had an EpiPen. So yeah, her airways closed and she sadly passed in hospital. I guess you could say I make a deathly good spag ball. Right. And if you enjoyed this episode of the podcast... Uh, um, uh, why? 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 <sighs> Surely, when they're making in jail. spag bolly, yeah, and Nana's coming over, someone's going. Is there onions in this? Yeah. Or like throughout dinner, people are going. This is nice. What ingredients did you use? Surely this person Onion? should be in jail. Murder. I mean, I don't think it was deliberate murder. I mean, they seem pretty proud of it. That would be the way to kill someone, though. Oh, definitely. Did you hear about Give that woman in Australia? That woman in Australia recently. So she had arguments with her husband. Right. And invited all of her husband's family around mm -hmm. to, like, basically make it up to them and say, I'm sorry for, like, constantly causing arguments. I'm, I'm going to make cook you all dinner. Her husband couldn't come. He was running late. Couldn't come. She cooked this pie for them problem. all. Cooked this pie for them all. Four of them are now dead. 
from poisoning from these mushrooms that were put in the pie. She's claiming she knew nothing about it. She bought them from a Chinese market. She, that same day, she threw away her dehydrator that she used to cook the pie. Well, Murder. Case closed. Case closed, baby. But she's saying, claiming that it wasn't her and she didn't do it. But if the husband can't come, what's, then what's drawn her to that? Exactly. I'm not surprised that they divorced. Anyway, if you enjoyed this week's episode, then you're fucked in the head because it was highly chaotic. Um, but I love you, so thank you. You were going to try and do the thing then, weren't you? But you just didn't Yeah, it. I couldn't do it, yeah. So you if you it. enjoyed and you're watching, give us a like, a subscribe, ring the notification bell so you are notified every time that we upload. If you mm-hmm. are listening, give us a five-star rating, download mm. us so you can listen to us on the go. Mm. Do all that nice stuff. Comment down below. What should they comment down below? Comment down below. Um, Nan's dead because of onion. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, and if you'd like to send in a <laughs> dilemma, please do so via our email to the use of hotline Pod, the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com and if you would like to send in a voice note please do please make it good please make it snappy please make it amazing um please do so to our instagram at the useless hotline pod and remember if you are sending in a voice note oh yeah you're actually more likely to be in the episode because there'll be yet less mm-hmm. of them and your voice gets to be on a amazing episode of this podcast for the rest of eternity what's not yeah. to love and um love you very much and we'll catch you next time oh we have a fun guest next week oh do we? yeah we do, don't we yeah oh very fun actually. very fun guest so see you then baby